हेलो एवरी वन आई एम संतोष यादव फ्रॉम के बोर्ड सोल्यूशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड मुंबई वी आर लॉन्चिंग ए न्यू सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज वे आर वी विल टीच हाउ टू डिजाइन ए ग्रिड कनेक्टेड सोलर पी वी सिस्टम वी विल कंसिडर ए साइट हूज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल्स साइट फोटोज एंड क्लाइमेटिक डिटेल्स आर अवेलेबल विथ अस वी हैव डिवाइडेड दिस डिजाइनिंग इन टू टोटल फाइव लेक्चर्स लेट सी वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन ईच लेक्चर लेक्चर वन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल एनालिसिस लेक्चर टू स्टडी ऑफ सोलर पी वी कॉम्पोनेंट्स लेक्चर थ्री डिजाइनिंग ऑफ ग्रिड कनेक्टेड सोलर पी वी सिस्टम लेक्चर फोर मेकिंग ऑफ सोलर पी वी प्लांट ले आउट लेक्चर फाइव सोलर पी वी प्लांट इंस्टॉलेशन प्रैक्टिस मॉड्यूल वन इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल एनालिसिस इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल लर्न हाउ टू रीड एन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल बिकॉज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल प्लेज ए वेरी वाइटल रोल वाइल डिसाइडिंग द पी वी प्लांट कैपेसिटी इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल सी वॉट इज सेंशन लोड वॉट इज कनेक्टेड लोड and what is the type of the customer and the category of the customer and we will learn how to calculate daily energy requirement and solar plant capacity also we will see what parameters you need to take care of while deciding a pv plant capacity according to local discom rules and regulations module 2 is the study of solar pv components here we will learn study of block diagram of grid connected solar pv system we will see how a grid connected solar pv system works we will see what is solar module and its types and what is grid connected inverter and its various types we will see what is grid synchronization and anti islanding protection in grid connected solar pv system and why you should take care of this anti islanding protection we will see what is dctb and acdb these are called combiner boxes and we will see how to choose the components of acdb and dctb components for example mcb pv fuse spd mccb etc and we will see what is the difference between ac and dc cable module 3 is designing of solar pv system and here we are going to design grid connected solar pv system here we will see what is dc input voltage range of inverter and we will learn how to decide a system voltage system voltage is nothing but the voltage applied to inverter we will learn how to decide the number of modules in burn strain and how to decide the number of strings to be connected to an inverter based on the input scope given to the inverter we will see what is overloading factor and how to decide overloading factor in inverter how to verify designing with inverter data sheet one inverter data sheet will be given to you and we will design our grid connected solar pv system as per that inverter data sheet and electrical parameters given in that data sheet module 4 is the making of solar pv plant layout Here we will learn how to connect string to DC DB, and we will learn how to do the interconnection of DC DB and AC DB. We will see how the components of DC DB are connected to each other. We will see how to connect DC DB with inverter, and we will see how to do the interconnection of AC DB. How the components of AC DB are connected together. We will learn how to do the wiring of net meter. Net meter is very much important part of a solar PV system. we will learn how a net meter is connected in acdb we will see how to connect inverter with acdb module 5 is solar pv plant installation practices in this module we will learn how to decide orientation and tilt of solar pv module and we will learn how to build foundations for pv plant in foundation building we will learn what should be the composition of water sand and aggregate we will see what should be the specification of ms structure used in solar pv plant we will learn solar plant installation procedure step by step we will learn some troubleshooting steps and we will learn how to do the commissioning thanks for watching this video and if you feel that this video could help your friends to learn solar system design then do share this video with your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel to get the updates on latest videos